Manchester City are a club that's growing and they want to get to a certain point. They've put all of the uh, the, the things in place to be able to certainly look like a, a big football club, a great academy. They've bought great players for a number of years. They've had some great managers there. Each one arguably has been better than the next. Essentially, Pep Guardiola is a pragmatist. He will be able to tailor his skills and he's an obsessive. When we talk about his attention to detail, he gets up in the morning, he goes into the training ground very, very early and he knows what he wants from individuals. He knows what he wants from the collective. He will already know every player in the Premier League, every system, every weakness. And he will look at it and he'll say, well, if there's no... He's not all of a sudden going to buy 15, five foot three, you know, Xavi, mm. uh, Iniesta type players. Yeah. He's going to buy players that he knows that can grind out 38 games. Don't forget in Germany, he's just got off the back of a six-week... Sure, break, yeah. ...mid-season break. Um He's going to have to buy players that adapt to the physicality of the Premier League. Mm. Um, and the notion that uh, you, you do watch people and bloggers and stuff on Twitter have a lot of respect for, but they say, you know, it's going to bring tiki tacker and it's going to revolutionise an English game that has been poor in the last three or four seasons, proof positive that, that Leicester City at the top. No, he's not. He's going to look at all of the clubs and he's going to say, what are the things that need to win a Premier League? Whether that be Arsene Wenger with the Invincibles, whether that be Jose Mourinho with Chelsea, whether that be Sir Alex Ferguson with Manchester United. And all of them started from a very good defensive base, all had good central defensive pairings, all kept the goals down to under, and usually in the Premier League it's about three quarters of a goal a game, while scoring two plus goals. I think that Manchester City's problem has never been scoring goals. Mm. It's this season, it's the defence. So I would expect that if he's looking at the squad, that you could imagine... Uh, him either working extensively with players like Mangala and Otamendi to make them into this wonderful pairing, or he'll quite simply look elsewhere because he's a ruthless man. 